Okay, so Hari sir, please introduce yourself. Uh, Arita sir, good evening. So my yeah, name is Hari Kuti. Yeah. yeah, good evening. So I am currently based out in Mumbai and I'm working with my own startup, Devika Scientific Solutions. And uh, I'm uh, uh, heading the sales for that company. I am a marketing professional. Thank you. So myself, Maritra Mukherjee, I'm from Kolkata. And right now I'm pursuing BBI at Entrepreneurship from Irish College. And after graduation, I want to start my own business. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so Hari sir, uh, tell me what is the difference between, I mean, what makes Instagram different from Facebook? uh basically uh the app itself the gui and what all features are there in instagram they're all together uh, much different than what uh, facebook is having so uh maybe the functions are same but uh like in facebook also there are posts and instagram also there are feeds and posts so the uh, that will be the same, but uh, the GUI, what GUI or graphical user interface Facebook is having, that is somewhat different than what Instagram is having. So Instagram has a very smooth icons and uh, very cool and uh, it looks very nice, the icons in Instagram. So that is the basic difference actually. and. Uh, uh actually now insta is also taken over by facebook so both are one and the same so i think in future maybe the features will also be uh like somewhat similar can you uh, what difference did you notice Aritra? well the main difference i would say is that instagram is mainly focused on photo sharing Mm -hmm. It's a specialized okay. on photo sharing. That is one of the correct. Main reasons, apart from this. Correct, correct, correct. Right. That filters and all that is only available yeah. in Instagram and boomerang. So many features are there. So yeah. that uh, is uh, like available in Instagram. So that is the main USP for that. So which one do you think is more popular right now? Instagram or Facebook? People use more. Which one? Uh, no, uh, popular in the sense both are at par and uh, Instagram, I have been uh, very uh, like um, initially with Facebook, I I did uh, join Instagram after, I, but my Facebook account is very old as such. My very first Facebook account I opened in long back, I remember when no one knew about Facebook, it was totally new. So there was one more app like uh, Hi-Fi, just like Facebook. There was one more uh, social media platform called Hi-Fi. So I was first, uh, first uh, I logged into, uh, I created an account in Hi-Fi. Then I created an account at Facebook, I remember in long back in 2006 or seven, I guess. So I am very first or early users of Facebook. So that was my first account that I continued for almost like uh, maybe till 2013 or something. So almost six to seven years I used that. And then I deleted it and I created another ID because uh, I was not aware of Facebook. Uh, lots of friends were added like unwanted uh, wanted so many many friends were there so i wanted to uh, make it better so i created another account in facebook and uh, my instagram account i opened it in 2000 and another one or two years i guess so after facebook account so i'm not uh, really remember the date but my insta was created uh, around 2000 10 or something, 10 or 11, something like that. So initially I thought like uh, Instagram is some somewhat like a bit difficult to operate than Facebook. 
because I was not that uh, versed or uh, about the features, what all features were available. So I was not knowing that because I was not, I never used that frequently, but Facebook I used very frequently during those days. And even now, like I won't be checking much of, uh, posting much on my Insta. So mostly posts are available in Facebook only. And I don't uh, like post my pics or photos in Insta. But later on, when I saw the features of uh, this uh, filters and all in Instagram, so it's uh, really cool and very nice features. So we should use it, I will say. But thing is, you must be photogenic, like very interested in uh, clicking photos, nature or your own photo uh, pics, and you can you you should be that uh, you should be that much crazy to upload all the pics every time. So I don't really find that much time. I just live the moment and uh, capture it some pics in my mobile, and then I. I really don't go to that app and upload it and do all that stuff. So that thing I am not doing. So once in a while I'll do, I won't do it like every other day or anything. So that is the thing. Okay, so if you were to promote your product through social media, which one would you prefer more, Facebook or Instagram? Uh, first thing is, uh, both are same actually facebook and instagram oh, which one can get you more reach uh, depends like what my uh, product is and whether my target audience is associated with me on facebook or in instagram more so um, as of now i'll say facebook has more friends for me and uh, insta there is only uh, there is no way you can find friends or get connected. There's no following. So you get follow, you, uh, or you follow someone and they follow you back. So that is the thing. So I am really not uh, sure whether Instagram, posting on Instagram will have the same audience or same effect that my Facebook will give. So I think firstly in social media, my first priority will be LinkedIn, not neither Facebook nor Insta. So on social media or a professional networking, if it is something related to sales and from my profession, so I'll prefer LinkedIn first. After that, I'll prefer uh, maybe Twitter or Facebook. And my last option will be Instagram because I don't have much followers on Insta. So basically <clears throat> very few of my contacts uh, I am following, they follow me back. So, but yes, if you want to run an ad campaign, then I'll definitely suggest Instagram as the best because if you have some marketing strategy, you're making, creating some video or some ad. So, uh, first is Insta, then Facebook, then Twitter. So that will be my priority because Insta is very good audience will be easily attracted with such type of ads. So you will do a kind of pull marketing, not a push marketing. So the audience will come to you directly. You need not uh, take efforts to push your products, but rather you will get a pull marketing. So what is the difference between this push and pull marketing? No, push in the sense uh, you uh, you need to introduce, you need to uh, you need to go to the client, right? You you have your product with you, and uh, the demand is not there. You 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 need to generate the demand manually. So that is a kind of push marketing, I'll say. So you follow up with your client. You give a call to him. You tell him these are my products, and. Uh, Okay, so he's interested in XYZ product. You send a quote to him and uh, you call him back again or the person calls him back again. So that is a kind of push market. But rather than what happens in a poll marketing is you just uh, will open 
your Insta, you will go through a post which you find it very suitable for your requirement. You go to the website, you click on the contact page, you get the contact details, you put your requirements, you get a quote, you, you are satisfied with that, you negotiate or you are satisfied and you buy the product. So this is kind of pull marketing. The marketing person has never contacted you, just contacted you for getting a quote. Like he just shared you a quote. He never called you or introduced about the company. So it is the same concept, Aritra, when you push a door and when you pull a door. So door is your product and the client is on the other side. When you push it, so you're pushing the product to the client. And when you are standing on the other side, and he's pulling the product. So that is the difference in short. So client is pulling your product. Okay, so you said that you would prefer LinkedIn as first to promote your product. Mm -hmm. But why do you prefer mm -hmm. LinkedIn? Because LinkedIn is a professional app. Uh, I mean, it, so only those people use LinkedIn who is looking for a job or a business opportunity, you say. But the regular customer, the regular audience, most of them use Facebook or Instagram. Uh, no, uh, that is my personal preference, actually, because uh, I don't uh, think social media, in social media, marketing, Facebook and Instagrams, uh, Instagram, these are somewhat professional or uh, uh, I don't really feel like it, 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 is, it is not an official way, but it's an unofficial way you get connected with your clients. So you can post something, but if that is personal, it looks much better. Like if you are partying with someone, okay, if you're partying with family or if you're partying with your friends, partying with your clients. So if you post such pics, uh, it looks, it makes sense on for me in Facebook and Instagram. But if you start posting your business posts, on Facebook, so oh, first thing is uh, there is no such verification. It is not a verified post. So I think in LinkedIn, no one will do such type of thing because LinkedIn has lots of filters, and if you do such things, you you, you might get banned also for for doing such uh, promoting illegal or promoting doing some fake type of products so there is no filter or there is no uh, like spams are there in facebook there are lots of spamming so even if you search for jobs in facebook you can see lots of spams in product also instagram also has lots of spam they will show you some link uh, make some advance payment i remember doing such transaction long back when uh, i bought a wallet anti theft wallet through Instagram and uh, there was nothing anti-theft in that. I paid up around maybe 2000 bucks for a wallet, simple rigs in leather wallet, which not even cost around 200 rupees. So once you, you, I received the product, I came to know, yeah, it's a big uh, scam. So once I received the product at that time, and so, so this is my personal experience where I have seen lots of spam posts in Instagram and Facebook. So that is my preference. LinkedIn. Okay, so as you know, uh, at first when the app was started, I mean Instagram, at first it was named Bourbon. So why do you think was the reason for keeping the name as Bourbon? Sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes. My yes. question was, why do you think the founders kept the name as Bourbon at first while developing Instagram? Because at first his name was Bourbon, not Instagram. What's the significance of the name? Uh, I don't really uh, know because uh, I've been not that closely following Instagram. 
maybe uh, might be some personal reason or something that he has uh, he might have felt bourbon he has kept it so need to ask the founder only okay so uh, that's it for today so thank you for joining and yeah thank you well, good night meeting ended